So the shadows are lengthening. It's just approaching five o'clock local time on this Tuesday evening as the referee, Daniele Virgilio, just making sure everything is in order before we get underway. You can see the shadows are starting to lengthen already. Roma in their famous yellow rosse colours and Sampdoria in their away strip of all white for this game. That was Minami's header. Here's Kumagai. Sonstebold. The shot from Sonstebold. Could break here for Evelyn Vion in the area. And Giada Greggi's shot just wide of the post. Good effort from Greggi, who's already scored four goals from midfield this season. Well, a nervy moment at the back for Sassuolo. Here's Masipo. That's beyond Loretta Kulashi, the Swedish number 99 for Sassuolo. Calmly done by Chase All right to Sunstable. Vion will chase this and will catch it. Evelyn Vion with the shot and a good save by Luni. And on the follow up, Giacinti can't find the net. Vion again. Oh, good block by Kledrup that time. Giacinti goes down in the area and the referee has pointed to the spot. He was a clumsy challenge by Angela Passeri and Giacinti. Went over, not much argument from the Sassuolo players. Could this be goal number 199 for her in the league? Yes, it can. A lovely finish from Giacinti and Roma have the lead inside eight minutes. Leoloni going the wrong way. Very well taken by Giacinti. No real pressure on that penalty kick so early in the game with Roma dominant, and it was well taken by Giacinti. Certainly in the opening 10 minutes of this game, the Roma defence and Camilla Cesar and goal have had a pretty comfortable time of it. Giuliano curling one in behind for Giacinti to run onto. First time effort from Giacinti. She'll have another attempt, and there it is. Goal number 200. For Valentina Giacinta, she didn't have to wait too long between goal 199 and goal 200. Just two minutes, her second of the match, and already Roma looks set fair for three points. It was all too easy, really. One ball over the top from Giuliano. Good block initially. There's still a long way to go. Santoro's ball out wide, Mala's cross, Cesar got there, the offside flag is up anyway. Cesar only had eyes on the ball. Here's Santoro. Again a crossing opportunity from that right-hand side. Pontini couldn't control it properly and a chance for Roma to clear the lines. Here's Vion now, two against two. Vion. Has Giacinti to her left, if needed. Vion just past the post, nearly 3-0. She scored seven league goals this season, the Canadian international. She wasn't far away from number eight there. I've lost count of how many passes Roma have put together here without the opposition touching the ball. It's a lovely return ball from Giuliano. Giacinti, just too high for her, but it's going to run through to Greggi. And another header just over the top from Vion this time. Lovely football from Roma, though. They're enjoying this. It's a very comfortable game for them and already looking to add to the two goals they have. And that's been given away cheaply. Monte Rubiano taking on Linari. Space on the far side. Pondini 
They were just a bit slow to get that ball out to Erica Santoro. Here's Kulashi. Good effort from Kulashi. It's on target, forces the save from Cesar. Miranda Kulashi, who has four goals to her name this season. And with Giuliano having gone off, it's Giada Greggi on corner kick duty. It's going to fall for Bion. Oh, it's just the wrong side of the post. So close to 3 0. Real chance for the Canadian international there at the second attempt. Not far away. Weisinger. Weisinger, who signed from Eintracht Frankfurt in the Frauen Bundesliga. Could break here for Giacinti. Chance for the hat trick. Valentina Giacinti finds the net. 3 0 to Roma. A hat trick for Valentina Giacinti. What a day it's turning out to be for her. Came from a mistake at the back by Sassuolo, which was seized upon by Giacinti. Here's Harvey. Emily Harvey. Oh, just wide. Close. Well, that's a mistake by Misipo. Giacinti, oh, very close to a fourth goal. She did score four in a Milan derby as well back in 2021. And Milan won 4 1 away to Inter. 20 minutes to go in this game. Three goal advantage. Cruising through this match, really. Here's Pilgrim, the shot from a long way out. And that's well saved by Loni. Nicolea Pilgrim might turn out to be a real fans favorite they had a few set pieces and you just felt if they could nick one could make it very interesting but the third goal was a real nerve settler for Roma Cesar was going to risk catching that one here's Skubica and Mihailic just off target not a bad effort from the young Slovenian Say Lenari would love to get in on the goal scoring act here with seven goals to her name already this season. Loose touch by Leona that time, and maybe a chance of a break here for Sassuolo. Cleland, Skipika charging forward to give Cleland some support. It's Cleland who goes it alone and almost caught out Camilla Chiesar, who made a very good save in the end. Great strike by Cleland. Sassuolo will know they were beaten by the better team on the day, but having trailed 2-0 after only 11 minutes, he was looking very grim, but they did settle into the game a bit. And 3-0. It's not too bad when you're 2-0 down after 11, but maybe it'll finish four as Pilgrim comes forward. Oh, good save by Loney. Pilgrim sends it back inside, and that's the last action of the game. It does finish 3-0, Pilgrim. Had a chance to make it four, but denied by Leo Loni. But it was all about Valentina Giacinti in this game. She scored a hat-trick, the first from the penalty spot, before making it 2-0 after 11 minutes, and then Giacinti rounding off the scoring in 52.